everyone, it's Halloween Heartthrob, and today we will be doing the gender-bent version of Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Or Dame. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to start with a Hunter Huntsman base from Ever After High, and I'm removing his face with acetone and a cotton swab. I was gonna say tissue ball. What are words? After I remove his face paint, I go ahead and chop off all of his hair and painstakingly rub off all of his stupid flocking. It all depends on which hunter you get, but sometimes it's super easy to take off and other times it's the worst thing in the entire world. Also, to get the plugs out of his hair, which I've started to do with most or all of my dolls, I cut open a part of their scalp, uh, more likely around the square of his hair plugs that already exist. I use an X-Acto knife to cut open and pull out all of the glue and hair. Now I'm starting on the face up. Using some watercolored pencils, and yes, it has to be watercolored pencils, I start drawing out the outline of the face. Now, because I'm a cheapskate, I'm trying to do as much as I can without having to spray too much MSC because I'm running out and MSC is expensive. When you're drawing your face up, make sure your pencils are sharp, like really sharp, like after you've used it, sharpen it again. I can't stress how important it is to have your pencil sharp. Now with this face up, I had a little bit of a trouble because this was one of the ones that I kind of held off for a little while. I did want to get him done sooner, but I also wanted to do like the Dracula Untold custom and a cover couple other customs that I had already started on done and out of the way. So his face gave me a little trouble and I did have to erase it. And the second time around, which did become the final look, I was happy with, but not a hundred percent. Now I'm going to make the clothes and start putting on his hair. Now, I didn't know if you guys wanted me to film the clothes. Sometimes when I don't, you guys don't have anything to say about it, so let me know in the comments below. I'm testing stuff out. Once I'm done with the clothes, I go back to the face up and take out that pin that you're probably wondering about of that's in his ear. I decided to give him an earring because Esmeralda has really big hoop earrings and in quite a lot of the other images that I've seen and what I've decided in my own concept, I really enjoyed the one earring look. All I did was just take a gold jump ring and shove it through his ear and oh my gosh, was it difficult? I lost like three or four different jump rings launching to the other side of my room because it was so difficult to shove it in his ear. After finishing with his jewelry, it's time to put on his hair using 100% acrylic black yarn. I brush out using a pet, a metal pet brush. I brush out some wefts for his hair and I'm gluing them on with tacky glue. I suggest using something a little bit stronger like Elmer's glue wall but so far I haven't had a problem with it. I've also used Mod Podge, but I'm assuming it's to do with the longevity of it. After I glue all of his hair on, I style it by using a teeny tiny pair of embroidery scissors as well as an eyebrow razor. Be careful with both because both are very sharp. Now that I have his face up in jewelry, and I say jewelry because I made some last minute bangles for his wrist and ankle. He looked really blank without them, and I feel like they were just the perfect finishing touches. I didn't show it because it was last minute. But with his face up jewelry and clothing all done, now it's time to take the pictures and show you what I've done! Stay away, child. They're gypsies. They'll steal us blind. 